has uh, moved to 10.6% illumination in the sign of Scorpio. We're headed towards that new moon in Sagittarius on the 12th. So let's see what this transitional energy is going to be like for you. New moons are all about new shit, right? New, new everything. So let's see what kind of new shit you can be expecting in the near future. Um... All right, so we have the Galactic Federation. This is all about community meetings, um, collaborations. You know, this is the coming together of people. So with the holidays, I feel like we are, you know, having like gatherings and things like that. Also, you might just, you know, have a random social event or party that's happening here. Um, it does look like yeah, with the crop circles, messages, signs, and curiosities, this is telling you to pay attention to synchronicities. Um, you know, be open to the messages that are unfolding in your day-to-day -day life. Like, pay attention to signs and shit, you know. And let's kind of dive into what that means. Like, what signs are the universe trying to get across? So we have the death in reverse Scorpio energy, and this is all about rebirth, right? This is about that comeback from, you know, something falling apart, um, something coming to a completion here. So let's see. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. I see somebody made a decision. Um, so let's clarify what that means, what decision was made. Perhaps the decision to move forward and to like, so let's see. Um, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I'm seeing cut off other options, right? Or, like, you may have made a decision to, to like, stay single for a while or to just kind of, like, it, it just looks like you're not looking or you're, like, in a mode of working with yourself. With the Six of Cups in reverse, I see that you're, like, really trying to not, like, focus on the past. You're trying to, like, be very forward-thinking. Um, try not to really dwell too heavy in outcomes at this time. Um, with the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing options opening up for you, opportunities. This could be new jobs, living situations, um, you know, partnerships, whatever. We'll see. <laughs> with the King of Cups, the King of Love, I see that you're very mature. You know, you're coming from a really good place in your heart. Um, you could be in your feelings about somebody at this time, and that could be probably why you're not, like, looking, you know, for other romantic avenues. With the Wheel of Fortune, I do see, like, like, good fortune here. I see, like, things kind of working out in your favor. Um, in regards to what, though? Hey, <laughs> it's a, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune.
We have the King of Swords showing up, and this is all about like cutting certain things off. This is about speaking a truth. This is about like following your intuition. And this is really like bringing about like whatever decisions you make in that regard. I feel that this is going to assist in like this turning of the tide for you. Like things will start, you'll start seeing more blessings. That's something I always know I'm on the right path when I start seeing a lot of blessings. And I always know that I'm on the wrong path when I see a lot of losses, you know, so I change up accordingly because like on a karmic level, dharmic level, like I'm going to receive what, you know, what energy I'm, I'm living in. So if I'm on the wrong path, you know, it's a good, it's a good way that like spirit keeps redirecting me and like kind of throwing me back into place, you know, because your boy's a wanderer, okay? <laughs> But we all do, you know, we all kind of veer from our path. We get into our egos, into our heads, or um, into our emotions, you know, and we kind of sometimes veer, you know, it's natural, it happens. But the Eight of Wands in reverse, I see that, like, something is taking a very long time, or it has taken a very long time. Perhaps, like, you've been receiving these messages and these intuitions, but it's like they've been ignored for a while. And so you could be, like, you know, I feel like the universe is getting louder with you in regards to that, like, kind of, like, trying to point you in a direction. What direction are they trying to point you? Because it looks like your blessings have been slowed up. It looks like... You know, like, you might be facing more inconveniences and things like that. Um, things are testing your patience. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So, it's saying to move towards the Queen of Pentacles. And so, this could mean, you know, like, embracing your inner feminine. Whether you're male, female, whatever. We all have inner feminine and masculine, you know. And so, the Queen of Pentacles is you know she's a, a strong leader and she's compassionate and driven and um ambitious you know she aspires and inspires so i feel that it's really telling you to embrace this energy at this time um especially if you're sitting in the king of swords king of cups like you know it might be heavy on the masculine side of things like heavy on the the foresight, the planning, the strategizing, and all that, and it's kind of like telling you to relax into your creativity, and like, focus your energy somewhere else. Um, with the two of wands in reverse, I'm seeing very decisive energy in the near future, like, no longer feeling at a crossroads about something. Um, it's like getting clarity. in reverse so I could be picking up on another person seeing like the balance of the masculine and feminine in regards to that if that's the case um it's telling you to like pursue it I guess um with the queen of swords in reverse it's like you know this energy of somebody um open and vulnerable or wanting to be vulnerable with you you know i wouldn't say vulnerable like as in, in a negative sense it's like they want to be vulnerable they want to like bring their swords down their guards down and they want to like open up to what is transpiring right so we have six of wands this either you you could be somebody who's in the spotlight right? Like, you could be somebody who is well-known, or you get a lot of attention. Uh, you could be a content creator or something of that sort. With the Six of Wands, I'm seeing that you have, like, a following. Um, 
or vice versa because the roles can be reversed either way i'm seeing somebody here with a following and it looks a lot like this queen of pentacles um so take it as it resonates we have the knight of pentacles in reverse and i see that you have probably like felt a little like stuck or hopeless on it on this situation on pursuing this like you could be feeling like if they are in the spotlight or if you're in the spotlight like that that's hard you know to ask of anybody in a relationship like to be able to handle that because you know like a big priority is you know what you've been doing this whole time like you're not going to drop that priority and prioritize a person over that you know it's like and I feel that perhaps that's why you haven't pursued this or or they haven't if they're in the mindset of pursuing it we have the two of cups in reverse I'm seeing like people in separation where somebody could be going through a breakup at this time uh, with the king of wands in reverse. This is like the very opposite of the king of cups. So I'm guessing that this is like another masculine. Like if you have feelings for somebody, they could be in a relationship or they could be leaving a relationship. Um, with the king of wands in reverse, I see that your perspective of the person that they're leaving is like immature or... Um, unequally yoked is like the most appropriate way to put that like um it's like you're and also though your perspective can be like connected to how you feel about this person like that you um have not been making moves toward <laughs> i guess um because Yeah, it's like you're, it's not like you personally, like, hate this person that they've been seeing, but I do see, like, a heavy dislike, is what I should say, or could even be jealousy or something of that nature, you know, so, or vice versa, roles could be reversed, I'm just seeing it like I'm seeing it, right, like, don't shoot the messenger, okay? <laughs> I mean, it does look like there's, you know, like, like, you don't like seeing this person with them. That's, you know, understandable, right? I get it. Um, with the temperance, Sagittarius energy, um, followed up by the Knight of Wands. Heavy on that fire energy with Sagittarius. Um, we have... It's interesting because it's like very like counter contradictory energies. Temperance is all about divine timing. It's all about patience. It's all about like something being very slow moving, especially with that eight of wands. But then, or the eight of wands in reverse. But then it's followed up by the knight of wands. And the knight of wands is fast, right? The knight of wands is like swooping in, taking over like, hey... I want this, da 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 da. So, you know, it could even be this Knight of Wands in reverse, or the King of Wands in reverse that you're looking at, like, um, because it's showing me that while you were being patient and biding your time, it's like they just, like, swooped in and they're like, look, I'm the Knight in Shining Armor, da 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 da. Um, so it looks like you could have felt like, Like you've waited too long, or somebody feels like they waited too long. We have the Knight of Cups. 
All right, this is kind of, I mean, since you showed up as the King of Cups, right? I'm seeing the Knight of Cups as your energy, whereas like the King of Wands in reverse, I'm seeing as the Knight of Wands energy, you know, like two varying masculine energies, but I see you like coming in and I feel like it's after this separation happens with the Two of Cups in reverse. And um, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, this is the energy of being like all in. Like if you're throwing all your chips into the table, it's like if you're playing um, Texas Hold'em or something, you know, it's like you're, you're all in, you know, you're, you're putting all everything into this. And it requires a lot of, like, strength, courage, and bravery to reach this point where you're just like, you know what, fuck it. Like, sometimes living is about, like, making those decisions, those fuck it decisions where you're like, you know what, I can't know until I know. It is, a, it is what it is. Um... We have three of pentacles. This could be somebody that you worked with or somebody that could even be like a roommate or something like three of pentacles is like a connection made through money in some way or money connected the connection in some way like there, there was like a I don't want to say like codependency but co-reliance <laughs> I guess that's not better um but it's like like shared finances or like or like you worked with them and you know, something of that sort. Um, with the Empress in reverse, and the Five of Cups, I see that they have faced, like, a lot of emotional disappointment. And it's, like, interfering with, like, their creativity or their feeling like, like, I don't want to say that they're unfulfilled, but, like, a role is being unfulfilled. That's what it feels like. Like, they're struggling to lead or they're struggling to, like, step up to something with the five of cups it's like it's scary it's scary Sun in reverse Leo energy, but there's no reverse meaning for the sun unless it's literally talking about a Leo that's like imbalanced. But with the sun card, the sun is all about abundance and happiness and, you know, everything coming to fruition and, you know, things, things working out for the best, right? But it requires you kind of coming over the wall. It requires you having to overcome something to get to this point. With the Knave of Swords, um, there could be like, like you could have rejected this person in the past or vice versa. They could have rejected you or there's an energy of like trying to like ignore or cut each other out of you know, at least that's how I'm perceiving it, like, so maybe cutting somebody off here, or somebody cutting somebody off is leading to, like, a positive outcome. Ten of Pentacles, this is like resourcefulness, material abundance, you know, that sort of thing. If you're in a, if you have your own business, like that's a good sign. It's showing that it could be very profitable. Yeah, and it's followed up by the Ace of Swords. Um, 
with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, like, yeah, somebody's gonna get cut off. Somebody, like, because I feel like this feminine energy is going to be speaking a truth, right, that requires this King of Pentacles to kind of, like, let go. Or, you know, they could be taking an action that requires this masculine energy to let go. So... And I feel like, it, this feels like a third party thing, not like somebody's cheating, but like you're into somebody who's in a relationship, or you're in a relationship and you're into somebody who isn't in one. <laughs> um, but there's like this energy of like having, you know, like be fair, like don't, don't waste your partner's time or, you know, it's not fair for them to waste their partner's time if you both kind of know, right? The Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups in reverse, I see like a very deliberate action to cut something off spiritually or emotionally. With the Seven of Swords, it's like there could have been like, like somebody could have lied or cheated or stole or... You know, and I, you know, I feel like emotional cheating is a very real thing, too. But there's this energy that, like, something just wasn't right. And so, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I see, like, this feminine energy trying to detach from that and go into the Queen of Pentacles, like, focusing on work, focusing on their abundance, and just trying to, like, get ahead in another area of life. If this is your story, like, talk to me in the comments about this. I want to know your perspective from your voice. Yeah, Eight of Cups, I'm seeing, like, somebody walking away from something that they were, you know, trying to invest a lot of energy and time into. Um, with the Eight of Swords, it has a lot to do with something that they didn't see in the beginning or something they were blinded to. It's like... Yeah, it's like they didn't see things going in this way, but it's happening this way. With the Six of Pentacles, um, there could have been like some sort of like codependency and that's not just financial, right? It could be emotional codependency, but it's, you know, this energy of like relying on somebody else. Um, Like, I feel like they were hoping for, like, a balance of give and take. Like, they are hoping that something would turn out. Um, but then, with the High Priestess coming out, it's like their intuition kicked in and started guiding them in another direction. Like, started really pulling at them and being like, hey, you're, you're veering, bro. <laughs> right? And so... I feel that this is, like, divinely guided. There could have been some sort of divine intervention that intervened on, like, the continuation of a connection, whichever one of you is in a connection. Or was, if it's already over. Yeah, we have the devil, and then it's followed up by the lovers in reverse. So... Yeah, with the devil card, this could be like manipulation or head trips or lying or deceit. You know, this could also talk about addiction, just toxicity in general. Or, you know, like the devil is somebody who tries to like pull you off your path, right? And so, you know, it may not even like be anyone's intentions to be like a bad guy. Um, it's just a bad situation or like... That's not even the right way to put it. It's not a bad situation. It's not the right situation. It's not the right situation. And I feel like with that guidance with the high priestess, that like seeing things clearly, um, I'm seeing somebody walk away from a connection. You have the two of cups in reverse with the two with the lovers in reverse. 
this could have been like a karmic connection, you know, like somebody you've known in a past life, so it felt like dope and magnetic, but then like the universe was like, bro, this is, this is karmic, it's not, you know, and that happens. But somebody here is separating and it has a lot to do with the third party, with somebody else that's, you know, kind of on the outside looking in but like somebody who it looks like has kind of skipped out on opportunities too so you know <laughs> and here and it was like there were reasons, right? There were moral reasons that, you know, somebody wasn't pursued. Especially if they're already in a connection, right? Like, it makes sense to not pursue it. Um, or vice versa, they probably haven't pursued you if you're in a connection, you know. God does. A predestined series of events is due to occur according to divine timing. This has been orchestrated at a higher level to integrate the paths of people with whom you have soul contracts in this lifetime. Trust in the doors that close just as much as in the doors that open for you as a result. Sribala. Commit entirely and without hesitation to your most passionate inspirations. There are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you may recognize. Believe in yourself even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you toward your destiny, but the instinctive recognition of your true purpose. And then Smashana Kali. Life as you've known it will change radically, and this can be a welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would otherwise be none. She brings an end to stagnation that has been depleting your life force. So yes, this is what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys and I'll catch you later.